All right, mashed potatoes. So for this dish, I'm doing five peeled potatoes. Usually I don't peel them, because I want to keep the uh, nutrition in the potato, but for this dish, we're peeling them and cutting them up. And then I'm gonna put them into a bowl of water so they don't turn brown. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, give them a little rinse in the bowl to wash any of the starch off, right? So this excess starch sometimes may settle on the bottom of the pot and when we're cooking with less moisture, this may tend to uh, have a tendency to collect and burn. So a nice little rinse is good. Then I throw the potatoes into the pot and rinsed all the starch off. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw two cloves of garlic in there. I'm gonna put in about a half a teaspoon of white pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt and some chicken broth. Now the chicken broth I'm measuring, I make like an, like an imaginary ring, additional ring around the pot lid. About a quarter cup approximately is what I've put in there for chicken broth. And we put this on a medium heat. Now uh, I've got the lid on and uh, we're just going to uh, wait for the whistle to go off. When the whistle goes off, really easy, we're just going to shut the vent, turn it down, and then we're going to uh, finish cooking it really quick and easy. So the whistle's gone off, I'm turning to a low heat now, and now we'll cook it for about another 15 minutes. And then uh, I got a little bit of steam shooting out of the side here. Now, um, you really don't want that to happen a lot. If it happens towards the end of the cooking time, it's, it's okay. Um, a little bit of moisture is just escaping from the pan. If that happens right in the beginning, your heat's a little high, turn the heat down. Now uh, I'm going to mash it up. The potatoes are nice and soft. They got a little bit of a, a still firmness to them, which is nice. I'm going to mash them up and then we're going to add uh, a bit of butter and milk. I give it a good mashing before I put the buttermilk in to make sure uh, I can see how much liquid leftover chicken broth is in there. So that will depend on how much um, milk and butter we put into here. Sometimes it might be a little more, a little less. Depends on the potato sometimes. Um, so I'm mashing them all up. It looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in uh, two teaspoons of butter. I'm going to put in a bit of milk and uh, mash it up and uh, get it to the right consistency. Check for seasoning and uh, it's going to be uh, good to go. So it's quick, easy mashed potatoes. We've cut down on the time. We haven't boiled water and thrown the water away. Um, you know, we did a rinse the potatoes off and get some of that starch off. But it's a much faster, cleaner way to cook, and the flavor is awesome. Subscribe to our page, and happy cooking.